Well, hey, everybody out there. Thanks for choosing our short explanation of the letter game P is for pizza. The easy, cheesy letter game. It sounds like something out of uh, Sesame Street. P is for pizza. Uh, uh, uh. It's Chris here from JMNC Games, and today we are uh, taking a look at this real easy uh, card game. Uh, you are trying to create your own pizza by collecting nine pizza cards. The game is for two to four players, ages eight and up, and the average game time really depends on the people that you're playing with. If you are a wordsmith, well, you know, you're probably going to play this game pretty fast. Uh, but if you are not quite the thesaurus uh, or dictionary in the head, well, it might take you a little bit longer. You know, if you haven't already done so, please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. We greatly do appreciate that. It sure does help us grow. And if you feel like supporting the channel directly, you can head on over to the app Buy Me A Coffee, and you can do just that uh, there on Buy Me A Coffee. We surely, surely do appreciate that. Now we're going to take a look inside the box. You'll see there's a, a little uh, deck of cards. Let's uh, see how we set it up and uh, get the game going. To set up, ensure that the cards are all facing the same direction. Shuffle and take about a stack of 40 cards or so and place it category side up in the middle of the playing area. Now take the top three cards and place them letter side up around the center pile like this. If you run out of center cards during the game, just create a new deck of cards from the box. When everyone is ready to begin, take the top card from the center deck and discard, and the game is underway. There are no turns in this game. Players are wanting to come up with a word that matches the category of what is in the center that starts with the letter that is next to it. For example, if you see this card in the middle, and it has these cards around it, for a tourist site, I could yell out the Alamo. If I am the only player to do so, or the first player to shout out a correct answer combination, then I earn a pizza slice. I would take the triangle with the letter that I used and add it to my collection of pizza cards. Players are trying to complete their own pizza by collecting nine pizza cards. But it's not just as easy as getting nine cards. On the category side of the card, you will see three colors. Green is easy, yellow is medium, and red is hard. To build your nine card pizza, you will need five of the green answers, three of the yellow, and one of the red. Think of it like a pizza house, where the green is the foundation and the red is the roof. You have to build in order meaning that you have to play at least these cards before you are able to build on top of it. Now, a yellow or a red answer can be used in place of a green, or a red answer can be used in place of a yellow, but only a red can top the pizza house. If you are the first player to complete all nine cards, then you are the winner of the game. Now, after someone gives a correct answer, they take their pizza card. You now take the top category card and flip it over and use it to replace the card that was just taken. And the game continues. If two players shout out the answer at the same time, neither wins the card and the round continues. If no one can think of an answer and all players agree, take the top category card and discard it and then continue the round. If you have any younger players in the game, they can use any color to build any layer of their pizza house. And so that is P is for pizza. Ah, 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 the easy cheesy letter game. Thanks for joining us today. If you got any questions on P is for pizza, please uh, feel free to drop those down in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer those as quickly as I can. And while you're there, Go ahead and take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel. We greatly do appreciate that. So now we know the basics. Let's play. 